This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Iskar Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In today's video, cursor control. Cursor control. The cursor is the little black thing that you move around like that. Oh, okay. It's, it's the line, like if you're typing an email, the little line. That moves that's the cursor. The cursor. There right. you go. So we have a whole set of arrows. You can move the cursor with things. So take them through the cursor. Well, the cursor, the easiest one is if um, mainly like uh, if you're in an edit mode, or hang on, I'm sorry. If you're in an edit mode, and we're looking for a, a spindle speed of a S. And we curse her down, it'll find the first S. If you curse her down again, will it find the next one? Nope. It no, just curses down. To down. G. Okay, right. So, okay. So whatever you're looking for, if I'm looking for a stop code, like an M1 or a tool change, I have a long program, I'm looking for tool 17 because I want to restart the program at tool number 17. So you just type in 17 T down and it's going to search for... Well, you'd have to look for the T because 17 might happen to anything. Oh, okay. So if I'm looking for tool 17, T17, go find it. Okay. And then that would, that would start. Now, cursor control takes you pretty much through anything you can change, any That's editable correct. item. Yes. Um, what are various editable items? Like what the programs, show me around. Programs, offsets. Settings. Settings in your parameters. You can search for your parameters. Um, we're gonna, you know, we can search down, we can page down, or we can cursor down. Okay, and yeah. that's our cursor. That's our cursor, right yes. Page down, up, back, Will angle. this work with the wheel? Yes. yes. Okay, I was wondering about yep. that. All right. So. We can cursor over in our offsets. You can cursor up or down in that. You can move over. It's just moving your cursor to anywhere you want to go. Okay, and so, here the cursor is the yellow highlighted yes. area. So it'll change depending on where right. you are in the machine. So any, anything you want to be in, whether it be parameter setting, anything, it's to move the part that you want to work on. All right, so that's, you can hit reset. Yes. And that puts a cursor back at the beginning. Yes. Does end? No, I'm over here now. That because you're in offset. Oh, okay. Let's go back okay. to program. <laughs> Uh, memory. Okay. Okay. So if I if if I'm guessing home would take me to the beginning. Too. Yes. Okay. So end takes take you to me. the end of the program. Okay. So and that'll do that in other things too. And yes. takes you to the bottom. The bottom end. of your offset page, bottom of your parameters page, bottom of your settings page. So or home sends it back to the beginning. Okay. So home and reset are pretty much the same thing when it comes to cursor control. And mm, reset. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now. As you're going through the settings pages and that other navigation stuff, is I see page up and page down used a lot, especially yep. in like settings where you've got tons of settings. Yes, you have tons of settings and you can jump page instead of doing line by line, jump page at a time. Okay. If you have very long programs in milling, you can have very long programs. Yeah. You can search by page. How much is a page? Um, is that this, is this that a much. page? Yep. Okay. That much. Is there a way to adjust the size of this to I don't get a know. bigger page? Okay. I was just wondering about because nope. they always look the same. I didn't know if that was adjustable or not. I think I like the way they look. Okay. Okay. That's cursor control. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. As always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.